Gini aku mau. Hi guys. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Hi, Gabe. Hi guys. Welcome to the vlog. This is my first vlog. Here we can talk about every geekdom that you can think of or about life or or one very close to my heart which is family. So for this episode, I would like to share my personal journey on cosplay. And the bang cosplay. It is a performance art in which participants called cosplayers wear costumes and fashion accessories to represent a specific character. The term cosplay was coined in Japan in 1984. It grew out of the practice of fan costuming at science fiction conventions. I would like to share this journey because one, I want to give information to you guys na gusto mag cosplay but gets discouraged because it's difficult to find costumes that are good in quality but very affordable. Of course, Quality comes with a cost. So all costumes that are accurate, <coughs> as cosplayers would say, is very pricey. Two, this is the most difficult hurdle to overcome, which is the hiya factor, or you shy away, or you chicken out. But guys, once you're there, and medyo na-realize mo na malaki na ang nagastos mo sa costume mo, you come to terms with your confidence na, you can do this. You can do this. So anyway, the cosplay that I went for is one of the trickiest and most sought after na i-cosplay, which is Spider-Man. Guys, akala nyo lang madali, pero I really had a hard time putting everything together. A little backstory, there was a kickoff in our company and the main theme for it was superheroes. So I was really happy and excited and I know that in my geeky heart that I have to go all out on this. I seen all out. And I was also part of the media prod so I was also covering the event and as you can see, talagang in character ako na Peter Parker. It was really fun and everyone appreciated the costume. Talo nga lang sa best in costume. But I did it for the sheer fun of it. So, let's start off with looking for the costume. Guys, ito, this part is where you give your patience. You can look for it on Shopee or Lazada, but I got mine sa Shopee and it cost me a little less than 1,500 pesos. Which is not bad, unlike the RPC Studio type of costumes which cost $250 up to $630. What? So, here is the costume. It's the homecoming type. And medyo technisnis, but that's my fault. It's a zip up. It runs from the neck down to the waist area. You will need assistance to wear this. This is the mask. The eyes look nice. The quality is fair to good because, as you can see, the webbing is not consistent to the original one because you can see that it's too far away. See? Chumalayo siya. Of course, you have to consider the accuracy of the costume because it's very important for your performance as a cosplayer. The other challenge I met was the mask doesn't look too good when I put it on by itself. There. As you can see, you can see my nose, you can see my mouth. So to address this, I went for what most Spider-Man cosplayers do, which is get a face shell mask. The mask costs a lot. It ranges from 2,000 pesos to 6,000 pesos. My golly. So me, being in I went for the cheaper alternative, which is get a, a toy Spider-Man mask. Here, so I got this in Toys R Us for only 600 pesos. Yeah. Medyo malaking difference dun sa original face shell mask. Wala akong budget na ganun. And originally, meron siyang mechanism. I removed it so it would fit my face really well. I put foams here because it hurts when the plastic meets your forehead. You put this inside. This. And then you wear the mask. Hello. 
And there you go. See? It hides our features. But this face shell, it has grooves. The webbing inside the shell is 3D printed. I was really aiming for the Iron Spider mask for the face shell. There's no grooves. So if you put it in the mask, you won't see any grooves. There, as you can see, it's a better fit. There's no grooves. It's smooth. It hides our features. You look more like Spider-Man. The other challenges for these masks are it lacks holes like the original face shell mask so it tends to get a little bit sweaty inside so for this mask i have to reconfigure it and put more holes in it so my advice if you're in a tight budget i highly recommend those masks the other challenge are the soles because you're going to walk around with them and walking around without these is like walking around in socks. So what I did was get aqua shoes, the one you use for swimming or walking on the beach, the slip-on ones. I removed the padding, I put it inside the costume, and I glued the padding and the sole outside, like this one, see? The padding is inside and the sole is on the outside and then you glue them together. Another challenge I faced was my tummy. As you can see, I'm not built like Spider-Man. I'm not ripped. I'm not full of abs here and there. I have flabs and I have love handles here. So I really had to find a way to hide everything. So what I did was I bought a body girdle to just compress everything in my upper body to make it slim as possible. And the last and trickiest hurdle and the frequently asked question of all cosplayers that wear tights. How do you hide your privates? Or private parts? Para hindi kayo Felix. You know, bakat. Here it is. It's basically a padded supporter which male ballet dancers use to hide their privates to not show through their tights. So for this part, I will show you how everything looks together. 12 seconds later. So here it is, the full costume. As you can see, the costume is a bit cheap for having that price. As you can see here, there are imperfections. So that's why it's a little bit wrinkly here. And this is what I've been talking about for the male girdle. See, at least all of your flabs are hidden. The male dance belt does its job so there and the mask here you put the neck part of your mask inside it's a bit wrinkly but it has a good flow in it it's inside make sure the eyes are level and in place so there <sighs> All the items I've shared, I put the links down at the description so you guys can check it out. So here I will end the vlog and if you've enjoyed this video, click the like and subscribe button down below. So see you on my next video for more geeky stuff and we can all just enjoy each other's company. So see you next time, God bless and geek it out.